Welcome guys uh, to another video from Code Review. Today we will talk about add custom fonts in the storybook. Now if you don't know what a storybook is, just let me know in the comments below and I will make a, a video for it and also a uh, complete tutorial about the storybook. So normally the storybook didn't pick up the font. In this before that the uh, storybook didn't pick up uh, the the custom font that you add. So I have now uh, in Create React app, I have just two components and button and also with the title. I will show you the components. So I just have a button and the title and then the app will render this, uh, the whole uh, component. And also I have the my custom fonts, which is Arm Restler. So Arm Restler and also uh, I do the, the to via the uh, SAS file, so I'm importing this via the font phase and converting them to a font so can a SAS file understand them. Now, in the, in the storybooks, we need to add some configuration to understand this font and also make it the same as in storybook. So if you don't know storybook, you need to go, uh, maybe if you search in the YouTube, there are a lot of videos about storybook. And that's why maybe I'm, I didn't make a uh, video for it because there are uh, there are a lot of videos and also it is ultimately easy to uh, to install. So what we need, I think we need uh, first. So if you go to the config, I change. Uh, this is the story, so it will pick up from this one. And also uh, I change the extension to be a story uh, just to see the icons. I will go first to uh, add the in the storybook. I will add my webpack configuration. So you need to uh, add a file and then call it webpack config to js, and then this will take the. I will, I will uh, first uh, importing the path. And then this modular export is normal, uh, is the same as the webpack configuration that we know. And this will take uh, config. And then what we need to do in the end, we just return config. In the meanwhile, here we where we going to add our fonts. So let's say fonts and also uh, some styling maybe. So starting first with the styling, I will say config dot modulo dot rules dot because rules is an array, so we can push. And this is where uh, my uh, config for styling. So I will use an ex a regular expression here, but not now. We'll use this one. So uh, the loader that we need is called resolve URL loader. And also you need to say include, and this include takes uh, the path resolve and take the directory name with source actually without source it's with this one is enough and for the regular expression i will take the regular regular expression from here so this is the regular expression for uh, any sas file so just to explain this uh, will take the sas file and then we take resolve url loader maybe you uh, Webpack is already has the configuration for SAS files. It has a lot of configuration and you can do just uh, by console a dpack. And uh, you can see all the configuration of uh, Webpack. But what I am doing now is just adding something extra to, uh, to merge our custom uh, configuration with the uh, configuration of Webpack, uh, of Storybook. So it's, it's like that. Now, we already know we need to install this one. Uh, 
and I think I already did it like I uh, yarn add uh, uh, as a div dependencies let this finished and let's go to the our uh, fonts so what we need here we need a file loader uh, so I will go also config dot modeler dot uh, rules dot push and here I will use uh, my uh, test, which is any file loader, but I'm not feeling this right now. And then I will use the loaders that I need. The loader is called file loader. And then I will say query for uh, this one. And then take the name as a string name and then extension so if you are not familiar with webpack so webpack by saying this you it will take the uh, uh, this, there are uh, multiple ways to add the loaders to webpack so it's like this way or maybe if you want to uh, customize it every loader so you will say the loader and then you will add the query with the name so mostly you will use the hash name but with me i just need to use this name and we will all take this one because this one is also important to use it and after everyone so to include the uh, configuration again so I think for Webpack that is done now. Uh, let's go uh, to add uh, some uh, extra infos or extra configuration that will include in Storybooks. I also forgot to mention that file loader also needs to be uh, installed. So let's copy this one and then uh, yarn add dash dash diff file loader so for for now webpack needs just these two loaders and that's enough for uh, webpack to handle the fonts but we need some uh, we need another configuration for it and we need a file called preview head.html so why I called it like this because in the storybooks is uh, documented like this it should be like preview as a head and then this it will take style and inside your style this will be uh, it will be injected in the head of your uh, uh, the storybook frame so I will take the type here as a text as a CSS and here we will use the font face so we'll go to font But instead here we will just referring to the our assets so the difference is here is the font is not be in this in this directory so we will refer to the directory uh, the other directory so we'll take this one sorry it is two files say like this and then I will say styles and then our font which is uh, let me back then and do uh, to double and then our font and that should be the font that we need for uh, so it will pick the font from the compiled files so this is enough for the fonts so it's the same but just we need to uh, uh, referring to our directory inside the source because we include already in the webpack uh, to take the uh, source files also and I think I forgot something about in the U test here so uh, I will go to pick the, f the regular expression for uh, font and this is also important to know because it will take all the fonts type fonts that we sent also for this is okay we still just also have one thing to do and that will be uh, done so uh, in our package json 
we need to add something uh, called uh, to referring to this directory because now we have a webpack configuration but this in this uh, package JSON uh, in the storybook a starter it will not uh, pick the co new configuration so we will pick it so by saying the dash c which is the directory and then storybook story book and that's referring to the uh, the directory but we need for uh, the font we need to add watch css so this is a custom one to watch the css for the uh, the source of my source so as as like this it will pick the source and i don't need to add in the preview head I don't need to add uh, like to go up of, uh, from this directory and to go, go to the source and then add uh, to go to styling so it will be directly it will pick from uh, styles inside the source now we will go ahead and test this out so uh, I didn't mention it uh, before this is uh, the app uh, that the app story uh, it just it will uh, pick the component uh, from containers and it will render it without any props because the props actually there are no props for the app mostly we don't know we don't do any uh what do you call uh, we don't do any stories for the containers but for uh the sake of this uh, video we did this already or added also to uh, another one a component which is title uh, i think that button is not needed so this is enough for now so let's run storybook and hopes will be okay start compiling and then open the app and voila so uh, as you see the click me is the same as in the run app the same font and if you check uh, in the inspector and then go to the network pick the font and then reload it picks the font as expected if you like the video don't forget to uh, subscribe share uh, and give like it will be appreciated and also uh, let me know in the comment below that you are uh, if you have a problem or uh, you are asking for something else and also for maybe for the full tutorial for storybook uh, for storybook so i can also give an, a full tutorial uh, for this one as a side note we I, I i can give you something like in the end as a side note uh if you have a provider like theme provider or something like that and you can add your provider and by a global provider but adding a decorator here and then you can say add the decorator and then uh, you add your uh a provider so let's say i have an uh, this one so this is my provider for example i'm not i'm just saying and then i have a story and this story will be like this so my story it will be like this then it will be the global uh, provider so uh, in the end you just need uh, yeah you need also to import react as well as storybook says but uh, in the end you just uh, you don't need to add a provider in every uh, story uh, file you can add it, the provider here globally and then you can add the theming that you are uh, uh, you want like a provider or something like this uh, I don't know but just for example I'm saying thank you for watching and see you next time